Hey guys, the Bot Builder is back and welcome to the Account Mayhem 2021. And well, we're, we're getting so close to the round of 16, but there's only one more thing left to go. Now, of course, we have 15 robots already in the top 16, but there's still room for one more. I mean, we can't have a round of 16 with 15. That's just stupid. So we need to find one more. And how are we going to do it? Well, all the 15 robots who lost out in the qualifier rounds will go into the last chance saloon. Now, how will it work? Well, simple. The 15 robots will be split into five three-way battles, where the winners of each will go into the fatal five-way, a mega no-time-limit rumble, where the winners of each will fill in the final spot, where the winner will fill in the final spot in the top 16. Now, of course, last time we saw some many great machines. The last episode was one that was full of destruction. Nightcrawler, Theo Hummel's new machine, absolutely trashed Akimbi's copyright infringement. We saw Sonic 12XL, the 8 seed, beat Voltage in record time. Prestigious Prussian Muller Stars and Strikes in a long, grueling battle. And, and Sunburn, JL Robotics, another newcomer, trounced Firetoff, absolutely destroying them. And of course, the reigning champions representing Robobotics, Scrapper, beat Aiden Phelps' robot Deator in similar quick fashion. We'll be seeing all five of those losers, as well as the five lo as well as the ten losers from the previous qualifier episodes here today, fighting for that final spot in the round of 16. But only one can do it, so let's just hop straight into it for our first three-way melee. And our first through in melee sees the six seeds Flag of Doom 2.0 representing bots and more who lost out to Frostray on the close judges decision. Another robot who was eliminated by the judges, Zenith, representing um Sunday Bots JP, losing out to Space Craze. And we of course have Voltage representing QC Productions, who lost out to Sonic 12 XL in very quick succession. And in the core patrol for the CPZs, well he never goes like in quick succession. It's Rhino and well, the robot who caused all that damage in that awesome Space Craze Zenith fight, it's Toxic Seahorse. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So here we go. Should be a good little battle here, of course. These, these three-way melees will still have the usual time limit. It's only the big five-way melee at the end that has no time limit. And look at this. Flag of Doom already flipping Zenith up and into Toxic Seahorse's area they may have they did watch all the other fights so they know what zenith doesn't like and they don't like toxic seahorse they they don't seem to get along very well voltage trying to come for a good little flip right there meanwhile toxic seahorse trying to cause some good damage right there onto that underbelly just like how they did in the qualifiers and oh and they punctured it in the hole right through yet again they seem to have a very very weak underbelly voltage does no not voltage the Vol voltage are the ones who are flipping up flag of doom right here in a minute of course, Flag of Doom self right with that flag, we saw them. They're a pretty good funny flipper, actually, and they're proven to be very controlled. Meanwhile, Zenith have, are in trouble right here at the hands of Virus. They do self right though, and they're coming in a good flip right there onto Voltage, and they're trying to flip Voltage up and over. They're trying to flip them up and over. Meanwhile, Toxic Seahorse comes in, and well, you really don't want to be in Toxic Seahorse's corner. Zenith, meanwhile, flips out the mini bots of Flag of Doom, and Flag of Doom did not like that one bit. And they got them out of the arena! Oh, and that is such a shame for Zenith! They're such a, they're so, they're such a beautiful looking robot! But Flag of Doom got in underneath them and eliminated them! So that means it's now just down to them and Voltage! Voltage! Doom managed to self right and now they're getting right in underneath Flag of Doom! Flag of Doom self right! Flag of Doom of course! Um, they came very close, they got into the top of the scene or the heat finals last time round, they want to go one step further and qualify for Series 2 this time round! And look at that by Toxic Seahorse! That new house robot has punctured the hole for yet another machine! Voltage this time! Oh! Look at this damage! The vo that, that voltage is sustaining here from Toxic Seahorse! And another massive hole right there! Is being punctured through them, and I think that's I think they're done for. I don't think there's a way back in it for them here. I really don't think there is. Oh, and again, this is brutal. This is brutal stuff right here, and I think Flagadier will be the first one to go into the fatal five way. Oh, and Voltage. I don't think there's a way back in it for them. I really don't. 
And I think Flag of Doom, are they going to eliminate them? Can't like how they did with Zenith. Yes, they do. Out of the arena they go. And that was a very impressive victory by Flag of Doom. They go through to the Fatal Five Way. Cease. Well, that was some really impressive driving from Flag of Doom. They managed to get Zenith out of the arena, throwing them out with using that great front hinge flipper. And then they used great driving skills to get Voltage into with Toxic Seahorse, who caused that awful damage to the underbelly, which they took advantage of, flipping them out of the arena. They go through to the Fatal Five Way. And now we're moving on to our next of our Fatal Three Way. Because of the dark lighting, we now have the flashlights on. And, well, this is going to be a very interesting fight with Bengal Tiger Claw representing Dead Slot 142, Vertigo, the fifth seeds, representing J33 Productions, and Diet Or representing Aiden Phelps. We'll be fighting it out here. Of course, Bengal Tiger Claw lost to Lord Charles Shaw. Vertigo got flipped out by GH Bot. And Diet Or got the short straw being drawn against the champions. Should be interesting, though, as Bengal Tiger Claw, the crusher, and Vertigo of its anti crusher sides. Will it work? Well, let's find out. And in the corner patrol zone for the CPZ. We have Rhino with that big ramming horn and Virus with his grappling jaws. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So here we go. Vertigo, Bengal, Deator, a flipper and a crusher. Two flippers and a crusher. Should be very interesting here. Golden Potato, we didn't really see much of... We didn't really see much of, um, of Bengal or Deator, but look at this from Bengal. Coming at that grappling arm right there, in onto Vertigo, and, and now they can push them to wherever they want to, but they go and drive straight to Virus. What are you doing, lads? What are you doing? That wasn't particularly good driving. Meanwhile, Golden Potato. Vertigo gets rid of Golden Potato right there. And are they going to get rid of Deator as well? Deator on their backs. Can they, can they eliminate them? Now, Vertigo, of course, we already have a seed in the um, Fatal Five way. Um, Flag of Doom. Um, there, we, we do have... Um, Three seeds, I believe. The other one's subatomic. So, will we get all three to seeds in the um, Fatal Five way? Well, it all depends here. Vertigo, Deator on their backs, and are they trying to get Deator up and out of the arena? Deator, they never really have the most amount, no much success right here. Meanwhile, Bengal Tiger Claw bringing down that grappling arm once again. Deator comes with a good flip though, and well, we do. This is why three ways are so much fun. You just, you just can't let your guard down even for a split second. Because a robot could blindside you and come for a good attack. Just like that. That was a good flip out of the arena right there from Vertigo. Managing to get Deator out of the arena. And, well, we save a bite to another good flipper. Eliminated by a, another good flipper of their own. And Vertigo coming to some good flips right now to Bengal. And they very nearly got Bengal to claw out of the arena. And now we really get to see whether those anti-crusher sides work on Vertigo. D um, well, in comes Bengal Tiger Claw, though. Grappling in, but look, it's not causing any damage. Those slight sides making it very difficult for, for Vertigo to grapple. They're making it very difficult for Bengal to grapple. Hold on. Vertigo comes in for another good strong flip. Vertigo comes in some good flips once and thrice and thrice and well. They're now trying to push Bengal into the CPZ with Virus. Virus lifting them up. House Robot of the Year did well. Is Virus of 2020? Well, I don't think they're going to win 2021. Um, but they, I'm surprised they won the 2021. I'm going to be honest. Rhino comes up with a good slam right there. And on to Bengal. And again, Bengal, though, they do manage to get back up. Vertigo now comes for another good strong flip, though. And they're going to try and flip Bengal Tiger Claw up and out of the arena. No, they couldn't quite do it. But they managed to pit the Tiger instead. And Vertigo, they get the victory. And they go through to the Fatal Five Way. Well, I think that might be the first elimination via pitting this um this episode. That was a good flip right there from Vertigo, managing to flip Bengal Tiger Claw down the pit, and they go through to the Fatal Five Way, and they will join fellow CD Machines Flag of Doom over there. Well, two machines have already made it to the No Time Limit Fatal Five Way to decide our final round of sixteen machine. But who will be even robot number three? Will it be Coco representing Astro Boy August? Um, and we're beaten by green screen in the um, qualifiers after being absolutely mullered. We also have um, Heavy Artillery of the front lifter. Very unlucky to lose up to Rewind in my opinion. They're a very good machine representing SBO 788. And <laughs> copyright infringement back after their run-in with Nightcrawler where they were absolutely destroyed. But they're repaired now. 
So can Akimbi rebound? And the Corporate Trombone for the CPZ. He also keeps rebounding. He also keeps losing his Tusk, though. It's Rhino. And, well, she's never lost hers. It's Matilda. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. N activate. Now, of course, I would like preface. Sorry for the lighting, but I mean, it looks kind of cool actually. I think with the with the um sort of flashlight and that. So yeah, this should be a very interesting fight here. And already, Coco looks to be in trouble. Want to see Coco? They're a weaponless machine. They're a low to the ground wedge. I'll give them that. They do have a low ground clearance, and that now they're coming for a good push right there in onto heavy artillery. Meanwhile, Kimby's trying to come back vertical spinner. Although honestly, I say heavy artillery are the favourites here. They're a really good lifter. Four-wheel drive, durable uh, tank of a machine. Copyright infringement, trying to rev up that spinner though. Meanwhile though, uh, meanwhile though, um, heavy artillery coming in with some good lifts right there. And they're controlling, they're controlling copyright infringement right now. And they're going to try and control Coco as well. Coco, Coco gets lifted up though. And they're on the lifter of heavy artillery. No, they couldn't take advantage of that. Heavy artillery though, coming in with some good lifts right there. Meanwhile, oh, look at that. A great hit right there from copyright infringement to eliminate Coco, and well, that's Coco's reign done for. Meanwhile, though, heavy artillery are just coming in with some good lifts right here in onto copyright infringement, definitely controlling this fight. And copyright infringement, they are trying to rebel that spinner, but heavy artillery are coming in with some good control, and they very nearly pitted. They very nearly pitted. Um. Copyright infringement, nearly called it basically I'm try hard. No, nope, that was their previous machine. My mistake. Oh, trying to cause some more damage though. Matilda now gonna try and come with some good flips up right there. A good little flip up right there from Matilda in onto Copyright Infringement! And that was a good little lift right there from any artillery to get copyright infringement down the pit. And well, that was very good driving skill from heavy artillery. To pit copyright infringement and SBO 788 progresses through to the fatal five way. Cease. Well, I suppose we have a bit of an underdog here now, building up. Um, heavy artillery managing to beat copyright infringement, the destructive spinner. And well, in fine style, that was a very, very nice pitting. Lifted them up, rolled them over, and pitted them. They go through to the fatal five way. Um, where they have to deal with the two seeds, Vertigo and Flag of Doom, as well as the winners of our next two fights. So we'll see how they'll do in that. Now we're coming into our penultimate triple threat match. The qualifiers for the Fatal Five Way right at the end. Will Chaotic Robotics Green Siege make it? Such a powerful flipper, but they got so unfortunate against the third seed's Bird of Prey. Will Steve 2 make it? Representing Robotic Apple XL, hoping to do something. Um, or will Phytos make it through? The Flipper did show some promise, however, I do fear for their durability, representing Kirby Robotics. And no, but one machine who I never fear the durability of is Toxic Seahorse, with that vicious spike. And Rhino, with that vicious ramming horn. Okay, that part isn't durable, but everything else is. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one... Activate. So here we go. And Steve already comes up a good little lift up right there. In onto um in onto Green Seed. No 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 not no Green Seed. Meanwhile, Firewheel trying to come for that little spinner. The little spinner right there. Steve too trying to come for some good little flips up right here. Fire toss gets in underneath Green Seed and comes with a good little flip up right there. Now Green Seed is a very strong flipper. We ha we haven't really seen it come to play yet, of course. They got very unfortunate against Bird of Prey, such a heavy machine, it was going to be difficult for them to flip. And well, already Phytos has lost one of their little um, self-writer helpers. Meanwhile, Steve comes with a good flip onto Firewheel and pits them right there, just like that. Steve now, meanwhile, comes with a good little flip up right there, in onto Green Seed. Although, now in comes, in comes, um, in comes Phytos with the flippers, Steve too. Come to a good flip. It's a very unique robot. It can double the front inch flipper as well. And now we get to see that front inch flipper capability come into play. Come, come, trying to come for a good little attack right there. In onto Green Siege. Green Siege self right so. And they come with some good flips right there. The two green machines. Steve, it's a lighter green. Green Siege is more of a it's more of a military green, I suppose. And now they come with a good flip and that fire toss out of here. Fire toss tossed out. 
out you go. So that means it's now down to Steve 2 and Green Seed. And Green Seed, I think they're one of the favourites for this. So if they were to be eliminated, well, when, what, what an upset that would be. Although Steve 2 are a plucky machine. They are a very plucky little competitor, they are. And they're coming in for another good little flip right there. It's kind of like... It's, it's very similar to um, Ensign from, from MRW in sort of the way the weaponry works. It's like Ensign and um, and the other one. And, oh, that was a good a try right there from, from Toxic Seahorse in onto Green Siege going for the Flipper Bungie. And that could cause some awful damage for them there. That was how Bird of Prey was able to beat them. And that was a great flip from Steve in onto Green Siege. And we could be seeing a potential, a potential upset. Oh, Steve gets flipped up and over though. And no, we won't. We won't be getting an upset. Oh, for a second and I thought Steve had it. But Green Siege caught him with the flipper. And now they're going to go off to Toxic Seahorse to sort of pay back for what he did to them. Jesus God. Toxic Seahorse has been sent flying out of the arena. And wow, what an impressive showing this has been by Green Siege eliminating them both. And eliminating Rhino, they do get a clean sweep of the arena, although they definitely did struggle there. And such a shame for Steve too, as they did look quite plucky. Cease. Well, Green Siege, very, very lucky to survive that one, I think. I thought as soon as Toxic Seahorse got that hit in on that bungee, that would be it for them. But they were able to recover and they more did flip Steve too out of the arena. And Green Siege, they go through to the Fatal 5-way, admittedly, a bit battered and a bit lucky. And well, such a shame for Steve too. They didn't get such a tough first round draw, who knows, maybe we could see them in the round of 16. But who will be the fifth and final machine to go into the Fatal 5-way? Who will join Flag of Doom 2.0 to 6 seeds, Vertigo to 5th seeds, Heavy Artillery and Green Siege? Well, will it be Subatomic version for the second seed? Can they join their other seeded machines? Of course, Hexbug Heroes lost out in a really good, probably one of the best fights of the account mayhem so far, in a fight against Rapture NG. We also have Misa and Robot Wars. <sighs> Representing the Boom 1177. The less said about that thing, the better. And the less, um, and the more times I say the name of their opponent, the closer and the more likely I want to die. And we also have Stars and Strikes representing Typhoon Robotics. Such a destructive machine who got such an unfortunate draw. But who knows? We'll see how Stars and Strikes do here. And hoping to make a strike on, our, on, their, on the robots in the arena is Matilda with her flipping tusk and rear spinning flywheel. And Virus with, the, with that crushing jaw and lifting spikes. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one... Activate. Okay, so Misha wrote was I would run. I would run for the hills because with Stars and Strikes in the ring, you're not surviving, mate. You are not surviving, and that just shows perfectly. Well, goodbye, goodbye, me Misha and Robot Wars. You're out of the arena for good. And well, Stars and Strikes, I hope to well try and deal with Subatomic. They of course suffered some awful damage in their fight with Prestigious Crushing. But they seem to have fixed themselves here a bit, it seems. And Chardino coming in with some good little lift right here. In comes Neutrino though. Coming in with a good little lift up right there and onto Stars and Strikes. And in comes Subatomic. Subatomic trying to come in with some good little lifts right here now. Typhoon Robotics has some not very pleasant experiences when it comes to um, uh, cluster bots, let's just say. <coughs> Pencil and Eraser. But um, we'll see how they do here. They do manage to get back up. And they're revving up that ferocious spinner once again. Oh, and out of the arena goes Chargino. Well, Chargino are gone. Well, now... Oh, and look at this. They're mullering. They're mullering Tachyon. And Tachyon couldn't keep on. And they're gone. And, well, it's now down to, well, the OG2, Neutrino, and Photon to deal with this monster of a machine. And they're certainly taking it on head on. Now, Photon, of course, they do have the middleweights to deal with this year. Of course, the reigning middleweight champion. That's literally all they have to their names though. Subatomic haven't won anything else yet though. None of the Subatomics have. Of course, Photon have been the most successful out of the lot. And the Xbox Heroes felt one is new Neutrino. And Stars and Strikes, they just need to eliminate one more. And well, Subatomic is done for. Although Neutrino do manage to come for a decent little lift up right here. 
Now, now, of course, now these are definitely the two toughest members of the subatomic family. Neutrino and Photon, of course, the, the, the quadrupeds. No, no, that's, that's not what it means. The quadruplets, the unidentical quadruplets. They, they, they're an interesting family. Some of, them are, some of them are more gifted than others. And, oh, and Neutrino is definitely one of the more gifted ones. But they're being shredded up here by Stars and Stripes. The Stars and Stripes, though, they've definitely been a beast here. Although, give the credit to the little subatomics right here. Give credit to the little ones. They're definitely fighting back really well right here. And, oh, but Stars and Strikes. Coming in with some more strikes in. Well, the subatomics will be seeing stars. These are two very patriotic machines as well. Flying flags of different countries. Um, stars and Strikes, of course. The American flags. Of course, made for robot combat models, War of Independence initially, but it since became a legendary machine in Typhoon Wars, and of course, Subatomic flying the flags of some African country, I believe. You can correct me. He, he told me once it was like some African country is where it's from. Um, Subatomic, though, trying to come some more good licks. Uh, but it is going to go to the judges. Cease. Well, it does go to the judges, and this is going to be a tough one for them to decide. I didn't even notice the virus have flipped over, if I'm going to be honest. Get back on your feet, sir. Well, it's going to go to the judges. Misa and Robot Wars, <laughs> they're gone. Didn't last too long. But between Stars and Strikes and Subatomic, well, this is going to be tough. Well, the judges at Arena side have called in a split decision. The judges say that on damage... They've given it to Stars and Strikes. For aggression, they've given it to Subatomic. So it all comes down to the all-important control category. Both machines evened it out on damage and aggression. But what about control? Well, again... Well, I mean, all judges' decisions are controversial, but I feel this one in particular will definitely be. But the judges feel that the robots win on control, and going through to the Fatal Five way is Stars and Strikes representing Typhoon Robotics. The second seeds are gone! And that is such a shame. Subatomic, this is the first time they will fail to make the top eight in, well, the, in a Robot Wars Omega account mayhem. They came third in the first one. Top 8 in the second one, but they get no further than the first round in this one. And that is such a shame, but... Hey, fuck heroes, you can't be disappointed. You had two of the best fights in the tournament, I'd say. Your fight with Rapture, and now this. But, I'm afraid, having a good fight just isn't enough. And, well, Stars and Strikes, they get the victory. And they go through to the Account Mayhem a Fatal 5-way. And let's go into that now, because I know that is going to be brutal. Well, here we are. What a fight we have lined up for you for the final match to decide who will be going into the top 16. Will it be Flag of Doom 2.0, the 6 seeds representing Bots and More? Will it be the 5 seeds Vertigo representing J33 Productions? Will it be Heavy Artillery representing SBO788? Will it be Green Siege representing Chaotic Robotics? Will it be Stars and Strikes representing Typhoon Robotics? Four Americans? I think. I guess SBO's from America. And one Brit, so the Brit is outnumbered, but could they pull it off? We have two seeds, two non-seeds, four flip, four flippy, ro lifty weapons, one spinner. All that we know, though, is that we have five machines, no time limit, and only one of them can fill in the final spot in the top 16. Who will it be? I haven't got a clue. So let's find out who's going to win this potentially brilliant fight. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two... One. N activate. So of course we have no time limit. It's just going to go until there's one last machine standing. Usual, usual rules for this. There, it won't count as an elimination until they're in the pit or at the arena, or unless if all the machines are immobilised. Stars and Strikes immediately get split up and over by Green Siege, but they do self right. Of course the two Americans going at it. And um, of course we do, have, we do have two very patriotic machines as well. Flag of Doom is flying with the flags of tons of countries. Um, of like they've got the British flag, the English flag, the Scottish flag, and the American flag. And of course Stars and Stripes, which means just look at the bloody thing. Um, of course, of course, uh, Flag of Doom 2.0 itself. Right, it hasn't been as successful as the original Flag of Doom, but it's still a very, it's proven to be a really controlled and underrated machine. 
Vertigo, self right, self right there, but they're having a tough time here against heavy artillery. Heavy artillery coming us with good lifts up here. They've definitely proved to be one of the better newcomers this account mayhem. They've definitely been an they've definitely been a really durable machine. And they did get very unlucky against Rewind, I feel. Meanwhile, Vertigo comes up with a good little flip right there in onto the orange wedge. And they come with a good little flip right there in onto Flag of Doom. Flag of Doom coming up with some good little flips right there. Green Teach, that was an, in, that was an intense street self right, wasn't it? And they're coming in with some very powerful flips right there onto Flag of Doom. Flag of Doom self right. So, of course, Vertigo lost out to newcomers um, GH bots um, in the um, qualifiers. That's how they got here. But they are still a very good flipper. And, well, honestly, if all these machines had a different opponent, they probably could have been in the top 16. We probably would have had someone like, I don't know, <laughs> what is that amazing when his lightsaber really needs to, to be here? Not these machines. They do. All of these machines deserve it, but only one of them can make it. And this is what makes it. And this is what's so tough about the account mayhem. It's filled with so many good machines, but only one of them can be successful, and only the um, top eight can qualify for series two. So yeah. So yeah, take that for what you will. And um, green sea sub right side, and goes after stars and strikes. Flips them on their side. Stars and strikes in trouble. Meanwhile, heavy artillery comes in with a good little flip right there in onto green sea. Flag of Doom, sub right. We haven't seen the machine get eliminated just yet. Although Flag of Doom are in underneath Vertigo. And are they going to try and get rid of Vertigo? No. Vertigo just stays in. The fifth seed staying for a little bit longer. But for how much longer? Oh. I do have a feeling Flag of Doom knows what they're trying to do. They're trying to eliminate them. And Heavy Artillery trying to do the same as well. Vertigo, I think, are the weakest robot in this, actually. They do seem to be struggling here. They do seem to be the one that's getting ganged up on the most. Meanwhile, in comes Flag of Doom now. Come in! Oh, Green Seeds are gone! Oh, that's such an upset! I have them as the favourites right here! And... Oh my god, they're trying to self right in! I'm sorry, Chaotic Robotics, but you're done for, mate! You're done for! And now, well, that leaves the floodgates wide open to one of these machines, and honestly, I think Flag of Doom 2.0 could do it. I think they could absolutely do it with that front hinge flipper. It's such a, it's such a good, strong machine. And they're going after Flag of Doom now. And Flag of Doom, are they going to try and eliminate them out of the arena as well? Heavy artillery. Coming with a good little lift up right here. This is such a great little battle this is. Vertigo, though. Now trying to come with that little flipper right there. To try and flip one of them out of the arena. Heavy artillery up ended. They're out. So that leaves Stars and Strikes. Vertigo and Flag of Doom. Two spinners versus two... No, what? No, two flippers versus a spinner. The two seeds versus the non seed. The, the Patriots versus the non Patriots, I guess. I don't bloody know. I mean, we've got so many 2v1 possibilities, but there are no alliances here based on the similarities these machines share. It's all just going to come down to, well, which who will be the last robot standing. This isn't a bloody tag team. This isn't, this isn't Drew McIntyre versus Miz and Morrison. This is, this is free. This is a free for all. This is a triple threat like AJ Styles. And the other guys, I forgot who was in that fight. And it happened last year. Um, shut up, I'm a wrestling nerd. Yes. And all stars and strikes now trying to get back up. And yes, they do manage to self right. And oh, and they very nearly got Vertigo out of the arena. And are they going to try and get them out of the arena this time? Using that ferocious spinner. Oh, they get flipped up and over though. And they're suffering a bit of damage. And what is this? Flag of Doom. Self right, their little orange wedge right there. Meanwhile, Vertigo. Vertigo eliminates. Flag of Doom, so that means it's going to be come down to the two seeds! But it was going to be Flag of Doom that pulls it off! And Flag of Doom will be the one to go in to the round of 16! And what a great performance that was by Flag of Doom and Boss and Moore! Vertigo, they got Stars and Strikes out of the arena! But Flag of Doom came from behind and flipped them out of the arena. And I did not see them out of all the machines to win this. But they have. And they go through to the round of 16. Cease. Uh. Well, I'm going to keep the light here. Doesn't really matter. Wow, well, 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 well. <laughs> what a fight that was. Um, well, Flag of Doom 2.0. We're going to have six seeds in the round of 16, which is a lot better than the last um, bloody account mayhem where 
all the seeds were dropping like flies. Can Slagadoon do it though? I mean, it all depends on who they get drawn up against um, in actuality. But that was such a great performance by Slagadoon. I, at many points, I honestly thought Green Seeds would do it. I genuinely thought they would. They're such a good, strong flipper, but power is nothing about control. And Flag of Doom had the control, and they controlled that. And they go through to the round of 16. And speaking of which, we'll be seeing you tomorrow for the round of 16. The robots will not only be fighting for a place in the quarterfinals, but also for a place in Series 2, as just like last time, the top eight finishers will be qualifying for Series 2. Um, so yeah, we'll see you again next time for that. But until then, the bot builder, out. Next time on Robot Wars, Omega, The Account Mayhem 2021. We finally made it. The round of 16. After four days, we've said goodbye to 40 machines. Only 16 bots are left. They are the third seed, Bird of Prey, representing Robot Combat Models. Lord Charles Shaw, representing Crystal Carnage. Green Screen, representing Roomba Wars Tyler. Frost Ray, representing, representing Vortex Games. Rapture NG, representing Corruption. Space Craze representing that field of boy. GH Bot representing Gawain Hale Film. Turtle Noob rep no rewind representing Turtle Noob. Blood Pumper, the fourth seed representing Dow Boy 666. Walter's dad with Mace Windu's lightsaber and I'll be Ah representing Rosada. Night Terror representing Fear Hummel. Solid 12 XL representing Alvi Islam. And the 8th seed, 7th seed, and representing Robot Fine Rep because Earth was Prestigious Prussian. Sunburn representing JR Robotics. Scrapper, the reigning champion representing Robotics. And the winner of the Last Chance Saloon, Flag of Doom, representing Bots and More. Well. We certainly do have 16 tough machines. And the main event of the round of 16 episodes, it's a big one. It's a good one. But the seventh seed's prestigious Prussian will be taking on the reigning champ Scrapper. Can Scrapper cling on to their championship defence? Or will it all crumble at the hand of that spinning drum? Find out tomorrow in Robot Wars Omega, the account mayhem, 2021. And until then, the bot builder, out.